Hola a todos mi gente de películas, estos son los retiros de Netflix para el mes de octubre. Empezaremos desde el día 1 cuando sale del catálogo la película 26 Years. Un... En este momento vamos a comenzar la clase eh, para el 28 de septiembre de 2022 para la sección 5 de intermedio, ¿verdad? Inglés intermedio, módulo 3. What will you do? Como miramos anteriormente en la clase, este está, eh, estamos repasando el Unreal Conditional, que es una condición imaginaria y también es eh, una posible consecuencia, una consecuencia que podría ser real. 
So that will be the second conditional. That will be the what we were studying. So just to check here, este sería el second conditional. If I found $750,000, I will spend it or I wouldn't return it so fast. Or I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry, or I might go to the police. What would you do if you found $750,000? Uh, so, eso era lo que vamos, eh, lo que estuvimos repasando ayer, cómo se estructuraba. Como podemos ver, primero está una if clause, que es la condición. Si esto se cumple, pues pasamos a la siguiente, que es la eh, oración independiente en la cual podemos usar un modal y después del modal, lógicamente, se usa el verbo en, en infinitivo. Good evening, Rafael. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And how was your day? Were you kind of busy? Um, well, uh, I'm, I was working mm -hmm. all morning. You were uh, working. Uh, I, I, I was on, on the, I was in the house of my suegros. Uh-huh, father-in-laws. Father-in-law and help help to well uh, they they have a little farm uh -huh. and and uh they have a estanque como se dice estanque de peces Estanque de peces, pero no es como un lago o algo así, ¿verdad? No, es, es como una piscina. Ah, oh, like a pool, yes. Ah, uh, eh, they, they are built a, 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 a pool. Mm -hmm. and, and I have to work very much. So you have to help them to build like the pool like uh, estanque es como pool puede ser o pond verdad pond es el estanque ah, ok and whole day so busy so very busy the whole day yes ok I understand I can imagine that uh, I guess that you already finished the the platform right yes I finished Okay, perfect, perfect. So I guess that you wouldn't have any problem. Uh, good evening, Alejandra. How are you? Alejandra, you there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. How are you, Alejandra? I feel a little tired. <laughs> a little tired. Why? You yeah. were working the whole day? Yes, all day. Okay, so it seems that everybody was working today. But you're ready for the class, right? Did you finish the platform? Mm, yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So I guess that you won't have any problem also. And good evening, Olga. How are you? Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, very good. And uh, you won't have any, you, you finished the platform also, right? Uh, I know I, I have a problem with a, a one exercise in the uh, the end five uh, <laughs> exam final. Ah, the final exam. Final exam. And what yes. is the problem that you had there? Uh, it's in the rewrite sentences. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, no, no me pone aquí, solo dice, eh, hay que reescribir las oraciones. Entonces, eh, dice, take off your shoes here, alone. Yo, yo lo he escrito 
de mil maneras. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero yo creo que esta es la manera que, que, que hay que escribirlo. Ya le voy a decir, solo voy a salir ahorita un ratito para poder verlo yo en la plataforma. Ajá. ¿Cómo Así. lo escribió usted? Ah, yo, le, yo puse... Um, It is allowed to take off your shoes here. It is allowed to take your shoes off here. No, to take off your shoes here. To take off your shoes here. ¿Y le salió buena o le salió mal? Me sale mala. The answer is mm -hmm. you're, you're allowed to take off your Shoes. Not, uh -huh. not here. Not here. Uh -huh. Why? Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But don't the know. right answer is that. Ah. Yes, that no, is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, eh, eh, esa es mi duda. O sea, yo quisiera saber por qué. <risa> ah, ok. Es que eh, está because bien yes. como usted. Because, <risa> yes. No, pero como usted lo escribió, está bien. O sea, está correcta como usted lo puso. ¿verdad? You are allowed to take your, uh, your shoes here. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Está bien. Pero el que puso la respuesta en el sistema no le puso el here de seguro y. Y así la acepta el sistema sin el here. Pero como la puso usted, está bien. ¿Y por qué, y por qué le quita el here? A saber. No sé quién hizo o quién eh, puso la respuesta aquí, pero la respuesta es como dice Rafael. Así, you are allowed to take off your shoes. Punto y sin el here. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, you, you are. Ajá, you are allowed to. You're allowed. You're. Ajá. You are Ajá. or you're. Uh -huh. Debe de salir bien. Y quitarle el here, ¿verdad? To me, the teacher had me. Yes. <laughs> Because, eh, tal oh, no, vez me tenía sale mismo... mal. Perdón. <laughs> tal vez tenía el mismo ah. problema. Pero si le pone you are. You, you are, are no, no me lo agarró. You are allowed. You're with contraction. O con contraction. Poner, ajá, ajá you're. Ok. Entonces Ahí debería voy. de poner, ajá. Hoy sí. Ay, Hoy no, sí. qué caprichoso. <ríe> That is good. Bueno, gracias, gracias. Ok, no problem, it's good. Está, está bien que traten, por eso que pregunten, ¿verdad? Si ya todos terminaron la plataforma, está bien porque ya mañana no tiene ningún problema, ya que mañana es el último día, ¿verdad? Del, del módulo, de la sección. Así que pueden traer pastel, pueden traer gaseosa, ¿verdad? Soda, <risa> para celebrar, ¿verdad? Ok, we are going, vamos a empezar porque uh, varios no se habían conectado, todavía tal vez tenían problemas con la lluvia, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a empezar a hacer un pequeño repaso. We are going to have a little review. What we were studying yesterday. ¿De qué estábamos estudiando ayer? ¿Quién se acuerda? It's a conditional oh. situation. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a real. Um, un resultado real. Un resultado real, mm -hmm. ajá. Pero era una situación imaginaria, ¿verdad? Imaginaria. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Exacto, era como suponiendo, ¿verdad? Suponiendo uh -huh. que pasara esto, podría pasar esto, ¿verdad? Exacto. ¿Y cómo se llama esa condicional? ¿Qué número es? Second. Second, very good. Second conditional. Ok, perfecto. So, yesterday we had a little review of the zero conditional. Uh -huh. We also checked how we form zero conditional. Also, we have the first conditional. We already checked that. And the last one, the second conditional, right? So we are going to study this one, only this one, second conditional. Mm -hmm. Solo eso es lo que vamos a estudiar. Ya sabemos que la second conditional primero va con una if clause. Mm -hmm. Lleva el, el pasado simple o past simple. Mm -hmm. Y la siguiente lleva el would o el could o el might con un verbo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. 
Entonces, este, eso es lo que vimos ayer. Ayer vimos estos ejemplos también, uh -huh. que se puede cambiar, que no lleva coma, y que también el verbo to be es if I were, si yo fuera, como se dice, if I were, ¿verdad? Y eso es para todos los sujetos, para he, para she, para it, todos van a ir en where. Ok, perfect. Now we are going to, uh, yesterday we also talked about ghosts, right? Ghosts and scary things. Ok, now, uh, just to review, uh, we were talking about unreal situations. What would be some unreal situations? For example, what would you do if you were on a trip to another country? What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do if you have to move to another city? What would you do if you saw a car accident? What would you do if you decided to get a pet? And what would you do if you saw, if you saw someone being mugged? For example, what would you do if you saw a car accident? ¿Qué harían ustedes si vieran un accidente de auto, automovilístico? Call the, the 911. Call the 911, right? You will call the 911 or you will take pictures, right? Or video because that's very popular nowadays. Mm. Um, what would you do if you decided to get a pet? Do you have pets, uh, Alejandra? Alejandra? No, I don't have. You don't like pets? I like, but, but you don't. But I don't have in this moment. <laughs> you don't have at this moment, okay. And what would you do if you decided to get a pet? If I have a pet, I will give to, to him a lot of toys. <laughs> Ah, uh, very good. I will give him a lot of toys. Do you like uh, dogs or do you prefer cats? Mm, both. Both, right. Uh, okay. Very. I like more uh, dogs. You like more dogs. Okay. Yeah. So you're a dog person, probably. Very good. <laughs> and Soraya, good evening, Soraya. Are you there? Ah, sí, Soraya tiene problemas con el audio. Perdón, se me olvidó. <ríe> Así que vamos a ver. If you saw someone being mugged, uh, Olga, what would you do? Uh, I, I give them, oh, I, I give all, all my phone, my card, my, my... <ríe> <laughs> my bag all, all all for for him <laughs> okay so that's if you were being mugged right you will give yeah. everything take everything yeah. okay yeah. very good very good perfect good evening Roxana thank you for coming hi good evening nice to meet you again guys okay perfect uh were you busy in your job um and in this moment I am in aeropuerto because I um travel to Honduras and to 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 job from my job uh, I need to um to to do some activities in the office at Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula. Oh okay so you are are you in in uh, the airport from El Salvador or from Honduras? El Salvador. El Salvador. So you are going to yes. travel to Honduras? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> You're kind of busy right now. <laughs> and you say, I'm going to take the class here in the airport. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Perfect. So have a have a nice trip, okay? And hopefully you, you everything goes well, right, in Honduras. Okay. Now she's Thank in you. the airport. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Very good. Very good. Thank so uh, we are just going to review yesterday's information. Solo vamos a revisar la información de ayer. Este, en este caso, tenemos la unreal conditional, ¿verdad? 
yo les dije que escribieran una sonreal conditional para que ustedes practicaran y vamos a hacer más ejemplos, solo para verificar, ¿verdad? So, as we uh, studied yesterday, the second conditional is used to talk about imaginary or impossible situation with a possible consequence or reaction, right? If she, if she found a lot of money, she might give it to the police. If you had babies, you wouldn't have much free time. If I were rich, I could travel around the world. So these are imaginary situations, okay? Did you write more examples? Escribieron más ejemplos? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you give me your examples, please, just to check? Um, if I studied every day, mm -hmm. I could better my English. Very good. If I studied every day, I could better my English, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. Another, another one? Who has another one? Alguien más que tenga alguna otra? Somebody else? Maybe can be um, if I speak in English very nice, I can get a better job. Uh huh. If I spoke English, spoke. Yeah. I spoke. Uh -huh. Porque es en pasado, verdad? La if va en pasado. I could get a better job. I could get a better job. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Roxana. So if you see, la oración con if siempre va en pasado, ¿verdad? En pasado, ok. Y la otra va con el modal, el could o el would, ¿verdad? ¿Alguien más? ¿Somebody else? Alejandra o Rafael. If I... Eat um, more vegetables and fruit. Mm -hmm. I could get more healthy life. I could, I could have, have a healthier, mm -hmm. a healthier life. Right. Very good. So if I ate more vegetables and fruits. I could have a healthier life. Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. You see, so we have the idea. We just need to practice a little bit more. And the last one, Rafael, do you have yours? If I had my songs when I was young. Uh -huh. <laughs> I I could build um fill. I could feel, uh huh. I could feel nice. I could feel nice. Okay, very good. If I had my son when I was young. I could feel nice. Perfect. Si tuviera mi hijo cuando fuera, cuando era más joven, me sentiría bien. So you will feel like nicer, like better, right? If you had had your, your children when you were younger. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yes, that's a, a, an unreal situation because probably you didn't do it in that way, right? So yeah, very good, perfect. So if you see here, the if clause is in past all the time, right? You studied, spoke, ate, if I had, and then the model with um, the verb, right? In present. Now uh, we are going to check this conversation. If it is possible, we are going to practice with um, some of you. And we are going to check how they use the second conditional, okay? Vamos a escucharla primero, si la pueden escuchar. Y vamos a ver cómo se usa la second conditional en una conversación. 
y vamos a tratar de practicarla. Vamos a ver. They are discussing about a story of an... I wouldn't have done that. Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you able to listen to it? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we are going to listen to the conversation and then we are going to discuss it, okay? Perfect. What would you do? Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. A homeless guy found a backpack with $40,000 inside. And what did he do? He took it to the police. He gave it all back, every single penny. You're kidding. If I found $40,000, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it. Really? What would you do with it? Well, I'd spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. The real owner might find out about it, though, and then you could go to jail. Hmm. You've got a point there. Okay, if we can see, it's a very similar conversation, right? Es muy similar a la que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver si la practicamos. Uh, so it, it is about like a return in money, right? Uh, someone who returned 40,000. Now the, the amount changed, $40,000. So we are going to try to practice it just to check the pronunciation if it gets better, right? So I need just two volunteers. Dos voluntarios, por favor, que puedan practicar. Me teacher. Okay, Olga and Rafael, right? Okay. Okay, Olga, you can begin and then Rafael can continue, can follow you. Okay. Look at this. A homeless guy found a backpack with a for 40 uh, 41 I okay. is $40,000 inside. Exactly. And what did he, he do? He took, a he took it to the police. He gave it all back, every single penny. You're kidding? If I found $40,000, $40, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it. Really? What will you do with it? Well, I spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. The real own owner might find out about it. So, and then you could go to the jail. Hmm, you got a point there. Very good, perfect. The numbers, right, Olga, the numbers. So it's 40,000, <laughs> right, 40,000. And a, a police, is a police, right, police. Mm -hmm. And what else? And you could go to jail, right? You can go to jail. So it was really good, perfect. So it is very similar to the situation we studied yesterday, but the numbers mm -hmm. change, right? The amount change. Mm -hmm. Now, This is just a little review of yesterday's information. Uh, let's see, Alejandra, uh, you will help me read this, right? Solo para que quede bien claro, esta es el, la formula. This is the formula, right? The order. If, mm -hmm. as you can see, red is if, right? Mm -hmm. Subject, mm -hmm. past verb, mm -hmm. and then complement, right? the first part, if you were invisible, right? And then subject, would, could, or might, the models, right? It's in yellow. The verb, it's in blue. And then the complement is in purple, right? So, um, Alejandra, can you help me read the sentences, please? If you were invisible, you could travel on an airplane for free. Mm -hmm. If I won the lottery, I might start a foundation to help children with cancer. Mm -hmm. If you knew English, you could work for a call center. If she live, live in the United States, she will save money to build a house 
In the Dominican Republic. Very good. If she lived in the United States, she will save money to build a house in the Dominican Republic. And below, abajo, si pueden ver, nada más están las mismas oraciones, pero al revés, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí no necesitamos coma. Como pueden ver, la, la, la que está en rojo es, es la if clause. Es la condición, ¿verdad? If you were invisible, if I won the lottery, if you knew English, if she lived in the United States. So, it is, it, it has changed. And at the end, we have here the usage for the models, right? We use might for a possible consequence or reaction. We use could for a possible consequence or ability. And we use would for a sure consequence or reaction. So those are like uh, basically the explanation for the second conditional, okay? Questions, preguntas? No questions, right? No teacher. Perfect, perfect. Now we are going to practice a little bit. Now, we are not going to do like the same. No vamos a hacer eh, lo mismo. Solo me van a ayudar a completar estas oraciones, okay? This conversation. Now, it says, if you, and this is the verb that we are going to use, have three months to travel, where, space, you, space, go. ¿Cómo es la pregunta correcta? What is the correct question? If you if had. You have. If you had, perfect, in past, right? If you had three, three months, months to travel, to travel. Where, where do, do, where do, uh -huh. do or would? What would? Do. Do. No. Do. 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 Si nos I can fly. Ajá, uh -huh, I can fly, kind of. Fly. Pero si nos preguntan con el, la condicional, con where would you go? ¿Cómo vamos a responder where would you go? Where I would you go? I would like, I will fly. I will, I will fly. Very good. I will fly. Volaría, right? A Europa. Mm -hmm. I will fly to Europe. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to go there. Perfect. You see, it's not that easy. It's not that difficult. Sorry, it's not that difficult. <laughs> it's not that easy, not that difficult. You just need to practice. La segunda. If your doctor tell, space tells you to get more exercise, which space you space choose? Aquí como sería? Your, exactly. The pass of tell mm -hmm. is told right told. so if your doctor told you to get more exercise which which will do would you would you choose would you choose right choose. perfect would you choose? choose si su doctor le dijera que hiciera más ejercicio cuál escogería i'm not mm -hmm. sure but i go jogging two or three times a, a week I would. I would, would go, right? I go. would mm -hmm. go jogging. Very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. La tres dice, what, espacio, you, espacio, if your teacher give an A by mistake? Aquí tal vez le faltaría el do, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. entre Ajá. Ajá, entre paréntesis. What, what would you do? Ajá. Mm -hmm. What would you do, right? Do. Mm -hmm. Vamos aquí a separar. What would you do if your teacher? Teacher. Gave. Gave. Gave, exactly. Gave. The Ajá. pass of give. Porque estamos mm -hmm. con la if, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. your teacher gave. An A by mistake. An A is like a 10, right, in English. Okay. Of course, I... I could say... I could say something right. 
I will okay. say something right something away. Right away. Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. What would you do if I gave you a 10 by mistake? Nothing, right? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's your mistake, teacher. It's your mistake, teacher. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, I just to finish with um, the conditional. Vamos a terminar hoy con la condicional. Vamos a ver. Oh, listen, listen to the airport. Y ahora están llamando. Time to go. Time to go. Sorry. 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 Time to go. Ok. Uh, we are going to watch a video. Y vamos a ver situaciones. ¿Qué harían las personas? Y después lo vamos a ver una vez todo. Y después le voy a preguntar a ustedes, ¿verdad? ¿Qué harían, verdad? De acuerdo a las situaciones que presenta el, el video. Hello, teacher. I will not be in class because I have a strong migraine. Take care, teacher. Ok, bye, Ana. Ok, vamos a ver. Let me know if you are able to listen to it. Dígame si lo pueden escuchar. In the United States and Canada, as in most countries, people like to invite guests to their homes. Yes, no yes, yes right? Okay, perfect. And embarrassing things happen. Everyone seems to have a story about a difficult situation involving a guest. We're going to look at some of those stories today, then ask people what they would do in these sticky situations. Let's take a look. I was invited to a party, and I arrived an hour early. I thought it would take me longer to get there. Well, Rebecca came to the door wearing sweatpants and an old t-shirt. Hi. Oh, hi. Rebecca, um, uh, am I too early? Yeah, you're the first one. I'm the first yeah. one. I could hear the shower running in the background, and of course, not a single guest was there. Wow. Well, we asked some people about what they would have done in this situation. What would I have done? I would have pretended to have an errand to run in the neighborhood, like going to the drugstore, the grocery store, and then I would have told her I'd come back later. <laughs> if I were him, I would have apologized and then offered to help with things like setting the table. You wouldn't have left? No, I don't think so. And what if the situation were reversed? What would you have done if you were the host and a guest arrived early? Mm, if I were the host, same thing really. I would have invited him in and put him to work. What would you have done? Now let's take a look at another predicament. I invited my boss and her husband to dinner the other night. We had a great time, but she just wouldn't leave. By midnight, my husband and I were so exhausted. Finally, my husband fell asleep at the table. My boss was very embarrassed when she realized it was so late. I just never know what to do when a guest won't go home. So, what should the host have done? Let's get some opinions. I don't care if she is my boss. I think I would have reminded her how late it was. I wouldn't have done anything, except pretend I wasn't tired. After all, she's your boss. I'm not sure, but I think I might have lied and told her I had to wake up early in the morning. Then I would have thought of some reason. What would you have done? Let's take a look at one last situation. My new neighbor invited me over for lunch. I was a good guest. I came on time. I left on time. I even brought a loaf of bread. It's a good thing, too, because I couldn't eat anything else. You see, the host served seafood, and I hate seafood. I'm not allergic to it, but I really can't stand it. I probably hurt her feelings, but what should I have done? What should the guest have done? Let's see what the people we talked with had to say. I think I would have lied and told the host that I was allergic to seafood. I think you should eat whatever the host makes, even if you don't like it. I mean, someone goes to all the trouble to cook you something, it's rude not to eat it. You know, I had a similar experience once. I served a dish with tomatoes in it to someone who was allergic to them. He broke out in a rash. It was terrible. Now when I invite people to dinner, I tell them what I'm planning to make sure that they can eat it. 
The host in that situation should have asked her guest about food allergies and food preferences before she planned the menu. What would you have done? We've heard a number of practical solutions to some difficult guest situations. Now you should be ready for anything. Okay, perfect. So did you check the information? Did you understand the situations? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Teacher. <laughs> okay, perfect. So what was the first situation about? A ride, uh, a ride a one one hour more early. Arrive one hour earlier, right? Earlier to a party. Have yes. you done that before? Um. Never? No. <laughs> or the opposite. The opposite to arrive late, right? <laughs> what would you what would you have done if you arrived <laughs> early to a party? What would you yeah. have done? Uh, I I think that is strange because by our culture, um, the Salvadorian uh, be late. <laughs> yes, that is a strange because Salvadorian people always late, right? Okay, very good. Yes. Yeah, but it, let's say if I have like if I have the time wrong, and if I arrive to your house early, and if you are the host of the party, what would you have done, Roxana? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe um, I I could uh, help to prepare the 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 drinks, the food, or uh, the music. <laughs> yes. Maybe <laughs> let me prepare the party, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's correct. That's very good. Very good option. So that was the first situation, right? <laughs> what was the second situation about the dinner? What was the second one? Uh, her yeah. husband is sleeping. <laughs> the husband was sleeping, right? But they invited to eat uh, the boss, right? The boss and they never go. They were talking and talking and he was really <laughs> tired and he fell asleep. What would you have done, old guy? For example, your your boss arrived to your house or someone important and they never leave, what would you have done? Uh, uh, I don't know, but um, um, uh, my, my husband is uh, very, very funny and, and he talk all the night. Yeah. <laughs> I have a problem for me. <laughs> you don't have a problem. So he's very yes. talkative. Maybe and... I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think the opposite. No, okay. um, it really is it is very, very difficult. Uh but I say uh, I I wait for the the day go go out and and their time. So you never tell them, oh my God, no. it's late. <laughs> no, no. no. Oh, it's, I am asleep. I want to go to rest. No, never. No, no. Okay. Even if they tell you, oh my God, it's late, Olga. No, no, stay more, stay, stay more time. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Okay. I can imagine the situation. Yeah. Alejandra, uh, how would you say a goodbye to a person that you don't want in your house anymore, probably because it's very late. What would you have done in that situation? Maybe I will give a, an apologize to them, but <laughs> I I feel asleep and I need to rest. So and you, I have to work uh, for the next day. <laughs> for the next day. So you, you would yeah. have done it. You would have said, I'm sorry, I, I am, I have to, I'm I have tired. to go to sleep, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, sometimes it's it's good, right? Because you have to, you have to sleep, but uh, some people might receive it in a good way, some people might receive it in a in negative way, right? Very good, Alejandra. And what was the third situation about, about the food? De que se trató la tercera situación? Uh, the the new neighbor 
-hmm. invited she to 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 lunch i guess yes and she she hates the seafood yes she doesn't like she's allergic right to seafood have you experienced something like that rafael like if somebody offers you something you don't like to eat or probably you are allergic to or you get sick when you eat it what would you have said in that situation would you uh would you say i'm sorry i i don't eat that or would you have eaten it well i when 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 something i don't like mm -hmm. i i Mm, I say uh, I don't like sorry but I don't like so you're and, honest yeah and and I say um, I say um, also a mm -hmm. uh, please a little bit of of food because I don't eat so much and oh. um, because I don't, I don't, I don't like, uh, how do you say desperdiciar? Waste. I, I don't, I don't like waste the food. And I, I, you, I, I say little food, please. A little bit of food, like a little portion of food. Okay. Yes. Actually in our culture, uh, probably we don't know we're not used to say that like we are not used to be honest like uh to to say no please i don't like that or or i to be like very direct right probably that is from another culture but sometimes i have done that but some people have criticized me for that like if i say no i, I don't want to eat that and everybody says come on eat it eat it because he's he's giving it to you and i said no because i don't like it <laughs> so i have some problems with that right but I, I probably is cultural, but it's good to be honest sometimes. It's good to be honest. Okay, very good. Now, uh, this is uh, like different situations or real situations also. And we are about to finish. Vamos ya a terminar este, en estos momentos con la clase. Solo vamos a repasar un tema más, que son los como opuestos, the opposites, right? The opposites. So, uh, th those are like antonyms. So do you know what an antonym is? Antonimo? Yes. Can you give me examples? Yes. An example? Black and white. Black, Black and, and white. white. Exactly. Day and cool. night, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cool and hot. Cool and hot. Exactly. Very good. So we are going to learn vocabulary at the beginning of, of, of the previous class. We studied some vocabulary and also the pronunciation. Al principio de la uh, clase pasada estudiamos un poco de este vocabulario. For example, we have accept and refuse, right? Accept and refuse. She accepted the ring that Mario gave her. Laura refused to listen to her mother. So that is an antonym, right? It's the opposite, right? We have another one, admit and deny, right? Admit. So, uh, Alejandro, can you read the sentences, please, from admit and deny? The criminal admit that he stole the woman's phone. He couldn't deny that the boy was his son. They Very look good. alike. Very good. They look alike. Alike is like similar, right? So, the criminal admitted that he stole the woman's phone, admitted that to accept. And he couldn't deny that the boy was his son. Perfect. So admit what and is, deny. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, what is the meaning deny? Deny, negar. No es de negar, es negar, verdad? Okay, okay. No, entonces él no pudo negar que él era su hijo porque se parecían bastante. ¿verdad? So he couldn't deny okay. it. Okay, thank you. Now, we have another one. Let's see, sorry. Agree and disagree, right? Agree and disagree. Can you read the sentences, Olga, please? Yes. Nick and I agree that the new project 
is good for the company. Mm -hmm. Mike and Jake always disagree. That's why, that's why I never ask them. Very good. What is the meaning of agree? Agree is agradable and disagree is desagradable. Is that correct or not? Agree is agradable. Estar de acuerdo. Estar de acuerdo. Exactly. Sorry, estar de acuerdo. So if I agree with you, I am thinking in the same way you think, right? And if I disagree, yeah. it's the opposite. So Nick and I okay. agree. Estuvimos de acuerdo that the new project is a good for the, it's good for mm -hmm. the company. And Mike and Jake always disagree. That's why mm -hmm. I never ask them. Siempre están en desacuerdo. So that is the opposite, right? Let's see the next one. Borrow and Len, we checked that one yesterday, right? Rafael, can you read uh, the sentences, please? I'm going to borrow Maria's car to go to the airport. Mm -hmm. The bank will lend the bank will lend me the money that I need to buy a car. Very good. What is the difference of borrow and lend? What is borrow and what is lend? Borrow is pedir prestado. Mm -hmm. Y lend es dar, dar pre, pre, o prestar a alguien. Ajá. Oh, sí. ajá, ajá, exacto. Borrow es pedir prestado, ¿verdad? Pedir. So, borrow cuando pedimos algo. I am going to borrow Maria's car to go to the airport. Le voy a pedir a María, ¿verdad? Que me preste el carro, ¿verdad? And lend es dar prestado. The bank will lend me the money. El banco me va a prestar, me va a dar prestado el dinero that I need to buy a car. So it's it's different, right? So be careful when you use borrow. Si, ¿cómo puedo decir, eh, me puedes prestar tu libro? In English. ¿Cómo puedo decir eso en inglés? Me puedes prestar. Can you borrow? You can to... borrow. Vamos a usar borrow or lend me. Can you borrow me or can you lend me? Can you lend me? Lend me. Lend me. Can you lend, lend me? me? Me puedes yeah. dar, ¿verdad? Me puedes dar prestado. ¿Me puedes pedir prestado? No, porque la otra persona no me va a pedir a mí el libro. Yo le estoy pidiendo al libro a la otra persona. So, can you lend okay. me? Very good. Let's see the next one. Enjoy and dislike. Eh, Roxana, can you read over there the, the sentences? Yes. We enjoy spending time with our kids. I dislike um, waking up early on the weekend days. Very good. So enjoy. What is the meaning of enjoy? Disfrutar. Disfrutar. So we enjoy spending time with our kids. And dislike, what is the meaning? Como disgustar. Disgustar. Mm -hmm. Desagradar. I dislike waking up early on weekdays. Me disgusta despertarme temprano, ¿verdad? Los días de semana on weekdays. Very good. Perfect. So that is the opposite, right? We have find and lose. That is easy, right? I found a wallet with some money on the street last week. Maria lost her phone. She doesn't know where she put it. So find is encontrar, right? Find and lose is perder. Perder. Exactly. Marry and divorce. That is easy also, right? <laughs> Marry and divorce. Yes. yes? Uh, uh, one question. Uh, what the difference with loss and lose? Lost is, uh, for example, aquí está en presente y aquí está en pasado, ¿verdad? Lose es en presente. Y los es el pasado de luz. Entonces aquí está María perdió. Okay. Pass, right? Okay, so luz is the present. Very good, very good question. Let's see. So we were checking Mary and divorce. Alejandro, can you help me read in the, the two sentences, please? Just to check. Javier is going to marry Dana on December 25th. Mm -hmm. They want to divorce because they have many problems. 
Exactly. So married and divorced, right? Opposites. Now, save and spend. Save se puede traducir como salvar o como ahorrar, ¿verdad? Save money. So, uh, Olga, can you read the first sentence, please? Or the two sentences? Okay. I'm saving money to buy a house. Mm -hmm. Marina likes to spend money on clothes. On clothes. On clothes. On, on, on clothes. clothes. Okay. Uh -huh. you, you pronounce clothes con, como con S, no con la, la así no, clothes. Ah, uh, clothes. Exactly. No, no TH, no que clothes. Exactly, okay. es una excepción, exactly. Okay. So it's close. very good. Mm -hmm. So I'm saving money to buy a house, ahorrar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. And Marina likes to spend money on clothes. Very okay. good. Okay. We have also forget and remember, right? Forget and remember. Can you help me reading, Rafael, please? I, I always forget to call my mother on her birthday. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when you were a child? Very good. So forget and remember, right? They are opposite also. And we have here opposites. We are going to do it very quickly. Si ya sabemos cuáles son los opuestos, por ejemplo, de accept sería refuse, ¿verdad? Refuse. For admit, ¿cuál sería el opuesto? Admit. Reject. Maybe reject. Maybe reject. Maybe. Um, yes. But what we what what we were saying here. Admit um, and deny. 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 Sign. Perfect. De admit and deny. Reject puede ser también uno. Very good. Deny. Vamos a hacer algunos. Agree. What is the opposite of agree? Disagree. 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 Disagree, right? Very good. Borrow. What Lend. is the opposite of borrow? Lend, exactly. Lend, Lend right? Dislike. Like. No. Uh huh. Enjoy. Enjoy, exactly. Enjoy, right? And we have divorce. Mary. 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 Mary, exactly. Then we have uh, find. Lose. 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 Exactly. Lose. Perfect. We have forget. Remember. 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 Perfect. And we have what else do we have here? Save, right? What is the opposite? Spend. 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 Perfect. Spend. So if it is possible for you, si es posible para ustedes, tráigame aunque sea uno así de opuestos, ¿verdad? Mañana, porque lo vamos a agregar a esta lista para que ustedes los tengan. Y este mañana también uh, vamos a terminar las clases. Tomorrow is the last class. You see, the time passed by really fast, right? really fast. So tomorrow we are going to talk about the should have done, what should have done, como las situaciones que vimos en el video, ¿verdad? What you should have done, vamos a tratar de dar consejos, vamos a tratar de practicar más con un role play, así que traten de venir mañana eh, y traten de completar la plataforma, no sé si tienen alguna duda de la plataforma antes de terminar la clase. Doubts about the platform. Preguntas no. de la plataforma, ¿no? No. no. Okay, perfect. So I will see you tomorrow, the last class. We are going to celebrate and we are going to practice a little bit more. So okay. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, good night, teacher. Thank you. Night. Have a nice trip, Roxana. Be careful. Thank you. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Alejandra. Bye.